welcome to NephChamps. I'm Dr. Geo Philip John, a consultant nephrologist. Today, we'll be discussing regarding an important topic, sodium bicarbonate. It's available as injections, tablet, and syrup formulations. Injection sodium bicarbonate is available in two concentrations, the 7.5% concentration and the 8.4% solution. The commonly available solution is the 8.4% concentration. So 8.4% concentration means it contains 8.4 grams in 100 ml. So 8.4 grams in 100 ml means 8400 milligram in 100 ml. So that means that there is 84 milligram in 1 ml. 84 milligram of sodium bicarbonate is equivalent to 1 milliequivalent of bicarbonate. So ultimately you get a solution which contains 1 milliequivalent per ml of sodium bicarbonate. So 50 ml ampule of 8.4% solution contains a 50 milliequivalents of sodium and 50 milliequivalents of bicarbonate. Coming to the osmolality of sodium bicarbonate solution, 1000 ml of sodium bicarbonate contains 1000 milliequivalents of sodium and 1000 milliequivalents of bicarbonate. So it has 2000 milliequivalents in 1 liter. So the osmolality is 2000 milliosmoles per liter. You have to know the blood osmolality is just 275 to 285 milliosmoles per liter. So you have to understand it's a very highly concentrated solution and if there is extravasation it can produce tissue necrosis because of the hypertonicity as well as the alkalinity of the solution. Sodium bicarbonate tablets are available as 500 milligram and 1000 milligram tablets. In some countries it is available as 325 milligram and 650 milligrams. 84 milligrams of sodium bicarbonate is equivalent to 1 milliequivalent of sodium and 1 milliequivalent of bicarbonate. So, a 1000 milligram of tablet contains 11.9 milliequivalent of sodium and 11.9 milliequivalent of bicarbonate. Roughly, you can say that it contains 12 milliequivalent of bicarbonate in a 1000 milligram tablet. Oral sodium bicarbonate is usually used in chronic kidney disease patients especially when the GFR falls less than 45 ml per minute because the acid excretion is decreased in chronic kidney disease patients. It has been shown that metabolic acidosis increases the progression of chronic kidney disease and hence we usually start sodium bicarbonate when the bicarbonate levels falls less than 22 milliequivalents per liter. This is as per the KDGO guidelines. We usually start with 500 mg twice daily dose and then we increase it up to 3 grams per day. The target we want to achieve is around 22 to 29 milliequivalents per liter. IV sodium bicarbonate is used in acute situations only when the metabolic acidosis is very severe, that is, when the pH drops to less than 7.1 or if the bicarbonate level is less than 12 milliequivalents per liter. But we usually don't wait for the pH to drop to less than 7.1 and we start IV sodium bicarbonate supplementations when the pH is less than 7.2. Oral bicarbonate can be used as an antacid, but it's rarely used nowadays. It can produce gaseous distension. It should not be used on a long-term basis. IV sodium bicarbonate is not routinely recommended for cardiac resuscitation. It is used for prolonged cardiac arrest when you are expecting severe metabolic acidosis or hyperkalemia. Oral bicarbonate solutions can be used in proximal as well as distal renal tubular acidosis along with other potassium supplements like potassium citrate or potassium chloride. Urinary alkalinization is used to increase the excretion of certain drugs, especially in drug overdoses like salicylates or phenobarbitons. Here, just like in metabolic acidosis, you give a bolus of 50 ml of sodium bicarbonate and then maintain an isotonic bicarb infusion to maintain a pH, that is a urine pH, more than 7.5 and a serum pH between 7.45 to 7.55. To prepare an isotonic bicarb solution, you need to add 150 ml of sodium bicarbonate to 850 ml of 5% dextrose. So you know that 1 ml of sodium bicarbonate is equivalent to 1 milliequivalent of sodium and 1 milliequivalent of bicarbonate. So when you are adding 150 ml of sodium bicarbonate, you are getting a final solution which contains 150 milliequivalent of sodium and 150 milliequivalent of bicarbonate, which is almost isotonic to your blood. Hope this video was useful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to NetGems. Thank you for listening and until next time, goodbye. Cheers.